Hello guys. Previously we have discussed the ladder and step ladders. And today I would like to discuss the firefighting equipment as part of our minimum acceptable standards in the construction. By the way, uh, I did not cut any words from this uh, minimum acceptable standards because this is uh, standards. So I prepare to be uh, word by word to discuss all of this rather than cut uh, the, every sentence on this presentation. Okay, let's begin. Minimum requirements. One more, one, uh, more one rules legal or contractual requirement shall always take precedence. Higher standards shall be adopted wherever practicable. Risk assessment. A comprehensive fire risk assessment must be undertaken for the project sites, labor, accommodations, and office fire risks. The uh, fire risk assessment must identify sources of fire and detail adequate control measures, including the provision of uh, firefighting equipment. So we know that uh, fire is very useful to human and helpful to us. We are using it uh, for cooking the, our food, for cutting steel, but uh, it's also a, a disastrous element in, in the universe if we did not manage it properly. So let's begin. Location of uh, equipment. Fire extinguishers shall be distributed in easily accessible locations and the maximum travel distance from any point of the protected area to the nearest fire extinguisher shall not exceed 15 meters. So this is a requirement that uh, in, when someone is standing in every uh, location in his uh, construction site, he should uh, reach any fire extinguishers within 15 meters that is the maximum travel distance so that he can respond to the fire or fight a fire because if he uh, if he cannot reach the, the uh, fire extinguishers in minimal distance or in minimal time maybe the incipient fire he cannot uh, fight anymore so it's become a road fire that uh, cannot be extinguished by portable fire extinguishers. Okay, wherever practicable, hose reels must be installed in uniform position near exits or on staircase landings at floor levels. Hose reels not fitted in recesses must be wall mounted in such a manner that they do not form an obstruction to means of escape routes okay as you can see the picture on the left especially to those who are new in the health and safety and want to or wish to maintain or wish to know what is the fire provision during the constructions even during the constructions we need to provide the fire host read this is a minimum acceptable standard So dry riser must be installed at the stairs at each level when the building height exceeds 18 meters and must be equipped with controllable outlets on each level to be used by connecting fire hoses or hose reels. These, riser, these risers must be equipped with a correct inlet at the ground level for water supply by the civil defense from outside the buildings. And what is the dry riser? This is the uh, temporary installations that uh, civil defense or any fire uh, fire brigade company that can access they can connect their uh, water hose in the inlet at the ground level so that they can use the fire hose reel cabinet or any hose uh, their hoses on the level top levels of the building or on the elevated area of the buildings so this not contain a 
water inside of the system that's why we call it dry riser so when the building height exceeds 18 meters then you need to provide a dry riser so that is the minimum acceptable standards and uh, what is wet risers wet risers must be installed when the building height exceeds 30 meters there must be a sufficient pressure water supply in accordance with its design by the competent organization authorized by the civil defense administration so wet risers is contain water inside that's why we call it wet so when the building height exceeds 30 meters it's uh, okay please also review your uh, local uh, uh, fire department uh, uh, requirements uh, for the sake of these presentations so I, I wrote here 30 meters and there must be sufficient pressure so so you need to check uh, what is the pressure required on the on the requirements from the fire fire department or civil defense so that you will comply with the requirements if you exceed on that pressures that will be better that means you are not just complying with the legal requirements you are above the legal requirements okay next automatic uh, sprinkler systems must be installed in all basements areas of the buildings which which are to be used during the project as storage areas so when you are storing any materials on the basement or finished basement or uh, structurally constructed basement so you need to install the automatic sprinkler systems okay there must be a sufficient pressurized water supply in accordance with its design so it's also designed by a competent organization authorized by a civil defense administration temporary offices shall be constructed from fire resistant materials okay so when you when you are installing the automatic sprinkler system so make sure that uh, all of this is uh, designed ahead of time so that means when you are starting the the const, uh, starting the construction of your buildings or your projects you are also uh, starting uh, uh, coordinating with the with your uh, MEP departments to or, or an structural engineering department to make a design for temporary uh, arrangement or temporary works like a, a firefighting system uh, like for example this automatic sprinkler system okay maintenance of the equipment all firefighting equipment must be maintained in good working order at all times like uh, in the finished building or occupied building during the construction the same procedures that all the firefighting equipment must be maintained and always ready to use in case of emergency okay inspection of equipment minimum acceptable standard all firefighting equipment is to be visually inspected weekly by the site safety officers if you don't have fire marshals and the inspection should be recorded so you should have recorded and also you should uh, update the tag on your firefighting equipment in the site to make sure that uh, all are inspected every week okay so this is a minimum acceptable standard all firefighting equipment is to be thoroughly inspected by a third party approved contractor every six months and the inspection tag display on the equipment okay uh, uh, remember this six months is uh, uh, maybe it will takes only three months depending it's depend upon the exposure or because uh, most of the firefighting it's it it is uh, installed outside okay that means the building is still not constructed so that means the firefighting equipment is exposed like the portable fire extinguishers so they are exposed to weather so 
maybe there, there before six months there is a drop on pressure on the gauge or there is a damage on the parts of the fire uh, portable firefighting uh, equipment so but uh, as per the minimum acceptable standards so you need to conduct six months and inspection tag should be displayed on the equipment must be displayed on the equipment okay guys that is our presentation for uh, minimum acceptable standards for temporary firefighting equipment at site so our next topics is suspended access cradles and platforms or gondola <laughs>